Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com and in this video we are going to look at the evaluate function of Excel VBA. Now the evaluate function is a bit of a hidden secret and not many Excel VBA users are aware of it. So by learning it, it really will separate you from the crowd. Now what it does, this function, is it converts an Excel name into an object or value. And what does that mean to us? How is that helpful? Well, let's have a look at some examples. And the typical example that you normally find it used in is to simplify worksheet formulas. So I've got the editor open here. Let's just create a quick sub procedure. And I'll just call it evaluate uh, test. That will do. And I've got the immediate window open so that I can print answers down there and we can see what's going on. In the background, you see I've set this up in a way that I have some numbers in column A of the active sheet, which is sheet three at the moment. And if you wanted to sum those values by using the worksheet function in VBA, you would typically write something like this. So let me put debug.print, so I'll print the immediate window down the bottom. And then I'll type application dot sum open bracket. And I can use the range object to reference column A. And I can do that. And if I was to run this macro, it produces the answer of 41 at the bottom. But if I just comment that out for a minute, and let's look at the evaluate function. Because if I do my debug.print, with the evaluate function, we can simply type evaluate, an open set of parentheses, because it is a function, and it will prompt me for the name. So what Excel name would you like to convert? And I can write in the sum function. Now I need to write it in these inverted commas, but you don't need to type the equal sign when you're writing the function. So I can write the function just like you would write it in Excel normally. You know, sum, open brackets, the range in the middle, but you don't need the equal sign. So you see the evaluate function just enclosing a classic worksheet function there. Could be VLOOKUP, could be COUNT A, could be anything like that. And if I run this macro now, you'll see at the bottom another 41 appear. There it is. So that evaluate function is doing exactly the same as the option above. It's just maybe simplified in respect that I can put a normal looking function inside those brackets and inverted commas. Now you imagine if you have to reference different worksheets and stuff, then this is going to make even, even more of a difference. So if I look at sheets one and two here, I've got number 25 in A2 number 15 A2 of sheet 2 and if I just switch back to my visual basic code so normally to do that you might be seeing code that yes I'm aware this can be simplified with kind of variables and stuff but just to take it at face value you would have at stuff like this worksheet sheet 1 dot range A2 dot value and you would have that and kind of multiplied. And if I just take a copy of all this code, you'd have that again. This time it's sheet two. And you have something kind of unwieldy like that, you know, to get this, this task done. Let me put a debug.print there so we can see this working. And if I was to run that, I get sorry, 1250, I was going to plus them, I've realised I've multiplied them. Let me change that to a plus. Not that it matters that much, but um, multiplication, I can't really do my head so easy. Let me delete this stuff. So I get 75, 25 plus 50 is 75. And that's more than adequate. I've used a line continuation character there to move to the next line. But look at the version that I can use with the evaluate function. Can just do debug.print simply write evaluate open bracket and then in quotes 
I can just put sheet 1 a2 uh, plus sheet uh, 2 a2 we can just write it like that if I play that I get 75 again so now I'm just simply adding these two uh, values together using the evaluate function and with the sheet references just like you would see in a normal formula which avoids some of the other complications that you would get with using the worksheet objects and the range objects within there let me take some of these out again and let me just revert back to the other sheet for the next example now this one is going to blow your mind because if you have not seen this function before some even better news is that when we use evaluate we don't have to put the parentheses and the double quotes or even the word evaluate we can simply use these square brackets so if in some square brackets I use the sum function and I sum column A again by putting in those square brackets is telling it to use the evaluate function so if I run that macro ah, I've forgotten to put a debug dot print before that example haven't I let's put that back in again and if we run that again now we're getting 41 Just worried there for a moment uh, debug dot print and by using these square brackets we're able to simplify it even further so they provide a shorthand way of using that function now the evaluate function is not just limited to using formulas I mentioned at the start that it can convert a name to an object or a value so let's see an object example instead of using the range object to select a cell so for example we could do range uh, a4 dot select to simply select range a4 what we can do instead of that let me comment that out and just leave it on screen is I could just use this shorthand notation while we're talking about it a4 dot select how simple is that instead of using the range object at all if I put a4 in there it will recognize it convert it to an object knowing that that's a cell reference aka range dot select you can see I'm in cell a2 in the sheet in the background at the moment if I run this code let me just get rid of that it moves to a4 so the evaluate function is a very useful tool at just simplifying specific actions um, it's most commonly used to simplify worksheet formulas but it can also convert objects like it's using the range object here shortening and summarizing your code it's worth checking out what else this function can do and how it may be able to benefit you and your work in Excel VBA it's just a real quick and maybe dirty way of getting some of this uh, simplification done I hope you found this video useful please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com.